I'm Mike Noonan from Noonan Real Estate, and I'm with Chris Wright, one of our fantastic property managers. Uh, Chris has been with us a long time. He's How long have you been in property management, Chris? I've been in property management 18 years. 18 years. Okay. Well, today we are talking about the exciting topic of smoke alarms, why it's important to check and what the penalties are if you don't check. Is smoke alarm required in each residential property that is being rented out? Yes. Each residential premises needs to have an active smoke alarm. And if a property has a multiple level, then each level has to have at least one working smoke alarm. Right. So we're talking basement and up. Basement Basement. and up. So even your garage basement should have a smoke alarm. Correct. Right. Okay. That's probably something that people neglect or don't think about. Is there a legislation on where you've got to put these things, like in terms of close to something? It needs to be outside of an area where there is formidably smoke. So Mm -hmm. really outside the kitchen, outside a bathroom or near bedroom areas. Okay. There's certain styles of cooking that create volumes of smoke and uh, set alarms off and I've I know that if smoke alarms aren't placed in a reasonable place they can be set off every time somebody starts cooking stuff which then annoys the tenant tenant pulls the battery out or tries to disarm it or something because it's they're sick of it beeping all the time from what you said before that's still the landlord's responsibility it is the landlord's responsibility to ensure that the smoke alarm is there. When we do our inspections and we do find that tenants have removed a smoke alarm for that very reason, it is the responsibility of the landlord to make sure that it is put back in place. Right. Oh, the other question I had is, do they have to be hardwired or can you still have smoke alarms that are battery operated? Yeah, battery operated is still acceptable. Okay. How often would you recommend or do you, should they change the battery? Uh, so the battery should always be changed at least once a year during a tenancy or if a tenancy changes or periodically between a 12-month period, it does need to be checked before a new tenancy starts. Okay, so tenant goes in for whatever reasons, they're out in three months, something happened. You've already done the check, but now you've got to do another check. Correct. Mm. And the third time, if that happens three times, you'd have to do it again. Absolutely. Okay, right, I got it. We have the smoke alarms checked. Uh, I believe they provide us with a compliance certificate. Is that correct. correct. So when we have our smoke alarms checked, we do provide a compliance certificate to show that it has been checked and that it is all operational. Okay. Well, I would assume that for insurance purposes and that, that would be the best way to go about it. Absolutely. Basically. Look, you don't want anything bad to happen in your home, but should something happen, yeah. at least you've got the certificate of compliance here right. for insurance to, to say, say that you've, you've done, done your, your due diligence. Yeah. yeah. You've done your duty. Okay. All right, Chris. So now we know we're supposed to have a smoke alarm. What happens if I'm a landlord and I don't have a smoke alarm? If you don't have a smoke alarm, there is a maximum penalty of $1,100 to the landlord. Right, okay. So if I owned a block of units, okay. six or 10 units, and none of them had smoke alarms, I'd be up for 10 times the 1100 so Very expensive not to have a smoke alarm in place, not to mention the, the danger to the tenant, which nobody wants to see the tenant injured in any way. All right, is there anything else you can tell us about smoke alarms? No, I think we've covered it. I think that the basic necessity is just to make sure that it's serviced and that it's operational. And that's legislation, so there's no way around it. Okay. Thank you very much, Chris. Thank you. Thanks for coming.